Hi, my name's Phil, and um, what I've got here today is a set of CV carbs off a Zephyr 750, uh, complete with plenty of rust, cobwebs, spiders probably. And I'm going to see if I can do anything with them, tidy them up a bit, get them working without spending a lot of money on them. Before I start, the thing I'm worried about most is in here the rubber diaphragms, whether they've perished or not, because they're quite expensive to buy. And for some reason, this slide doesn't move. The others are fine. Bring it up and down nice and smoothly, actually. But that one sees solid. So that's my other concern. Why is it stuck? But other than that, we're going to have a go. Okay, I've given them a quick wash. And they're looking a little bit better. And I washed them in warm, warm, warm soapy water, really. Um, and it's that sticky slide has freed off now, so they're all free. Um, but the only other thing is the throttle still will not open. It's seized up. This one moves a little. Well, you can see that, but none of the others are moving. So, I am going to split these. I'm not going to leave them as the one block. I am going to split them down to individual carbs and then see what we can do with them. But looking round, since I've washed it, I don't know if you can see in there, somebody's been messing with these. Um, I don't know if you can see the carb warmers are missing, carb heaters, and there's a screw missing out of this float bowl there. And on this float bowl, it's got slotted screws for some reason, all four of them. So somebody's been into them. I think there's a screw missing there as well, look. So, I think it's just going to be a case of start taking it to bits. So here we go. I'll start with taking the choke slide off. one missing there. Okay, and then we're going to take this bar off, which holds them together. There's two bars, this one and one underneath. So I'm going to remove those. Turn it over. Yeah. yeah, these are proud of the bottom so it won't stand on there. So I've got a couple of blocks of wood here. I'm just going to use to support it. Now, these were, I have loosened these off already because I know that these are a nightmare to get off. Um, so what I've done is I've got a little punch 
put it at an angle like that and hit it with a hammer just a couple of taps not too hard and it just cracks off the screws so that they they're all nice and loose now so that's the way I do it those off and now you should be able to just slide these apart. It's a bit stiff. This is your main fuel gallery that goes through to this is where you'll get a leak sometimes if the O-rings have gone you'll get a leak. Okay, so there we go. They don't want to come apart at the moment. Might need to persuade them a little bit. And we'll gently just put a bit of pressure. There we go. So now we've got our four separate carburetors. Don't lose these little springs because they go in there when you reassemble it. But we've got four separate carburetors now and I can work on each one separately. So this is where we've got two all the components for fitting the carbs together and four separate carbs. Uh, my next step I'm going to start writing down what I probably need to order uh, and the obviously th first thing is there's a screw missing and the washers and a washer missing there so I'll write those down and then in my next video I'm going to strip one of the carbs down so I'll post that as soon as I've done it